Best Dash Cams in 2020. Dash cams are used everywhere in 2020, and it records most important footage, especially when it comes to Uber and other taxi services. You will find the best single camera dash cams, dual dash cams with front and rear camera, Uber and taxi style dash cams that have an interior facing camera, as well as other types of car cameras in our video. We'll tell you about the top 10 best dash cams in 2020. Before we start the countdown, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also press the bell button to get the latest updates. Without further delay, let us start. In the list of top 10 best dash cams in 2020, at number 10, we have the Garmin Dash Cam 65. Garmin has been a longtime manufacturer of car navigational systems, so it's only natural that they would come out with their own line of dash cams. The 65 or 65W dash cam model from Garmin features full 1080p HD video with a 180 degree lens angle, which is far wider than most other dash cams offering a full view of the front of your car. The previous Garmin dash cam models, like the dash cam 45 and the dash cam 55, only had a 122 degree lens angle, so a big improvement there with the dash cam 65. Using the GPS on the Garmin dash cam, it will automatically save the time and location if a crash happens by detecting the impact with its G sensor. This can be a helpful feature when dealing with car insurance companies after an incident on the road. There's a forward collision warning and lane departure warning that you can use with the dash cam, but most people do not find this feature very useful and choose not to use it. At number nine, we have the ROAV by Anchor A1 dash cam. ROAV, a company run by Anchor, produces dash cams known for their exceptional build quality. The A1 model is one of their newer cams that records 1080p HD videos at 60 frames per second. While many dash cams record at 30 frames per second, 60 FPS allows you to capture twice as many frames in a second, which is good for capturing license plate numbers while in motion. With its Sony Starvis image sensor, you'll get a clear and crisp video during day and nighttime recording. With the ROAV A1's built-in Wi-Fi, you can use your smartphone iOS and Android, or tablet to connect directly to the dash cam using the free ROAV app. Using this app will allow you to remotely download video directly onto your phone and make setting changes to the camera. The built-in GPS can track and document your travels and routes, which can be accessed through the ROAV app. You can also watermark the video files with your speed and coordinates. At number 8, we have the Rexing V1P Pro Dual Dash Cam. The V1P Pro is a mid-range dual-channel dash cam from Rexing. The main front cam is housed in an all-black wedge-shaped body that can be discreetly mounted up behind your rearview mirror using the sticky adhesive pad, making it less visible to potential thieves. The front and rear cameras record in full 1080p HD video at 30 FPS. If you turn off the rear camera and only record with the front camera, it's capable of recording 1080p at 60 FPS, which can capture license plate numbers better when in motion. The front camera uses an OmniVision OV4689 image sensor, while the rear cam uses a Sony IMX323 sensor. Both cameras have a wide 170 degree field of view, giving you nearly 360 degrees of video coverage around your car. At number seven, we have the Blackview DR750S 2CH dash cam. The DR750S is the predecessor to the DR900S Blackview dash cam model. Although it's not their newest car camera model, we think it's still worthy of making the top 10 list of best dash cams in 2020. No, it's not 4K, but with its dual 1080p cameras, both using the Sony Starvis image sensor, it's more than capable of capturing high quality videos both day and night. The front and back cameras have a 139 degree lens angle, which is not extremely wide, but should be enough to fully cover the front and back of your car. Blackview is often cited as the dash cam brand with the best parking mode features. The DR750 has two different parking mode options. The first is the standard motion and impact mode, 
which is standard on mini dash cams. This will sit in standby mode until there's a motion in front of the camera lens or if there's a major impact detected using its internal G sensor. At number 6, we have Vava Dual Dash Cam. The Vava Dash Cam has somewhat of a unique design when compared to other dashboard cameras. It has a cone shaped windshield mount that attaches to a black hockey puck looking camera that can rotate 360 degrees on the mount, which could be handy if you want to rotate it towards your side window if you were being pulled over and talking to the police. Vava first got their start on the crowdfunding website Kickstarter a few years back and received a good number of backers for their dash cam. While there are many dash cam concepts on crowdfunding websites, few make it past the initial stages in order to ship out to backers, let alone make it to selling full time on Amazon. The dual dash cam from Vava records dual 1080p HD at 30 frames per second. The main front camera has a 155 degree lens angle, while the rear camera has a 126 degree viewing angle. At number 5, we have Vantrue NT Pro Uber Dash Cam. In 2019 and into 2020, we saw a major increase in two-in-one dash cams that had a front-facing camera as well as an interior-facing camera. These often went by the name of rideshare dash cams or Uber dash cams. With the increasing popularity of apps like Uber and Lyft, dash cam manufacturers were scrambling to create their own taxi cams. The Vantru N2 Pro was one of the first higher end dual dash cams to hit the market. The front cam on the N2 Pro records in 1080p HD using Omnivision OV4689 image sensor. It has a wide lens angle of 170 degrees to capture the entire front area of your car. What many people are concerned with on this dash cam is how the interior camera performs. Using a Sony IMX323 image sensor and four IR infrared lights and recording at 1080p HD, the interior camera is able to capture high quality video both day and night. At number four, we have Street Guardian SG9663 DC Pro. This two channel dash cam from Street Guardian features dual 1080p HD video cameras to cover the front and back of your car. Both cameras use the Sony Exmor R image sensors, which are known for their higher end quality, night vision clarity, and crisp daytime video, especially when compared with the cheaper generic image sensors used in low end dash cams. The Street Guardian is known for manufacturing higher end dash cams and focus more on quality over quantity. With its Wi-Fi feature, you're able to use your smartphone or tablet to remotely connect to the SG9663 DC Pro dash cam. This can be done by downloading the free Street Guardian dash cam viewer app on either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. The GPS feature can be disabled within the settings menu. Parking mode comes standard with the Street Guardian dash cams. It has all the features you would expect, like motion detection and impact detection using the internal G-Sensor, which will start recording when an event is noticed. A hardwire kit or external dash cam battery is required to use the parking mode feature. At number three, we have the A129 Duo Pro 4K dash cam. The A129 Duo Pro is manufactured by Viofo, a company who has become popular in the dash cam world over the last few years for their budget-priced, stealthy HD video car cameras. Like their other camera models, the A129 Duo Pro features an all-black design with a wedge-shaped case that uses an adhesive pad to mount right up behind your rearview mirror and out of sight. The main front camera records real 4K video using its 8MP Sony IMX317 image sensor and has a field of view of 130 degrees. The small rear camera that's meant to mount on your rear window shoots 1080p HD video and has a Sony IMX291 image sensor and a 140 degree lens angle. You can also make setting changes directly on the dash cam using the 2 inch LCD display on the back. Using the buffered parking mode feature, you're able to capture video 15 seconds before an event happens, like motion or impact detection. If you had your car parked in a parking lot, 
when someone hit it, the dash cam will show 15 seconds leading up to that moment and 30 seconds after. If you plan on using the parking mode feature, you will want to get a hardwire kit or use an external dash cam battery. At number two, we have Thinkware U1000 4K dash cam. The U1000 from Thinkware is one of our top picks for 4K dash cams in 2020. This high-end dash cam comes with all features you want in a car cam, like real 4K video, Sony image sensors, good parking mode options, smartphone app, and cloud services. Real 4K video means the camera has an 8MP plus image sensor and records in actual 4K, not just upsizing the video file after it is shot to 4K. The main front cam of the U1000 uses a Sony Exmor R Starvis 8.42MP image sensor paired with an Ambrel processor. The real cam that comes with their dual dash cam package uses a 5.14MP Sony Starvis image sensor and records 2K HD video. With its built-in Wi-Fi, you're able to connect to the free Thinkware app with your iPhone or Android smartphone, giving you the ability to remotely view live video, download videos, and make dash cam setting changes. If you have a hotspot set up in your car, you can link the U1000 to it and use the Thinkware cloud service to track your car's location with its built-in GPS antenna, as well as get push notifications on your phone if there's a crash or incident. At number one, we have the Blackview DR900S 2CH 4K dash cam. For our number one pick for the best dash cam in 2020, we have decided to go with Blackview's DR900S dash cam. It is one of only a handful of real 4K dash cams currently for sale. Most 4K car cameras you see on Amazon are actually not real 4K. They shoot video at a lower quality and upscale it after to look like a 4K file. The DR900S uses an 8 megapixel CMOS sensor that allows it to capture real 4K video, while other dash cams only use a 2 or 4 megapixel image sensor, which could record in 2K. Using a 256 gigabyte micro SD card, you're able to record over 14 hours of 4K video. When the memory card gets full, it will loop back to the oldest video files and start recording over those. The 2CH in DR900S 2CH is for two channel, meaning it's a dual dash cam. The rear camera uses a two megapixel Sony Starvis image sensor and shoots video at 1080p. That's all for today, folks. Tell us which dash cam you like the most in the comment section below, and we'll see you soon with another amazing video.